78 Sports TV here, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, Shakur Stevenson. Uh, rumor mill is floating around that Shakur Stevenson, um, I told y'all before that, you know, he's having trouble with his top rate deal. Uh, they want him to sign an extension to get the fights that he want. And uh, he don't want to sign no extension, okay? Uh, he wants to be a free agent. He wants to see what's out there. A lot of these guys are trying to make their way over to uh, uh, Matchroom and Eddie Hearn at the zone. Uh, uh, that's what a lot of these guys are trying to do uh, because the zone, apparently, according to the reports, the zone still has um, access to a lot of money and they got access to the Saudis and stuff like that. All right, meanwhile, these other companies uh, don't really have it. There's other rumors that ESPN and uh, these other groups are working together to come out with some sports app uh, that's not going to be ready yet, but they're talking about coming out with some sports application. And I don't know, man. But anyway, Shakur Stevenson, make a long story short, is not happy with the tie brain. He's not retiring like I told y'all he wasn't. And the word on the street is that he uh, he's going to um, he's going to be honoring his contract with Top Rank, fighting that one last fight, and then seeing what's out there in free agency. You know what I'm saying that's what they say he's gonna do. You know they still got time to convince him otherwise. But we'll see. You know we'll see what's out there. But uh, Shakur needs to have an impressive outing um, to up his value on the free market uh, because. Right now, the only thing of value that Shakur really has is the belt. He has a WBC title. But uh, the sad part is that with this stigma, after that performance with Edwin De Los Santos, with that stigma following you, bro, it's going to be hard. You know, people going to just, they're just going to duck him, bro. They're just going to not want to fight him. Or um, uh, that stigma going to follow him around. And people going to use that as an excuse to say, oh, he's boring. They're already doing that. This is why I say Shakur should... Uh, fight Edwin De Los Santos again and clear that up. Because if the stigma, you have to show people that you're not afraid of punchers. Because that's what people think, right? The the myth or the rumor that's following Shakur is, well, he's afraid of punchers. Any, anytime he fight a hard puncher, he's going to fight that way. He's going to fight scary. You see what I'm saying? That's the myth. So if that's not true, then you need to fight De Los Santos again and going to clear it up. Because nobody else out there. Nobody, everybody, man, nobody from the fight, not even for the WBC belt. Now, you, you said, oh, it's crazy how everybody wants the WBC belt, but now when I got it, nobody wants the belt, bro. That's, yeah, welcome to being a black fighter, bro. I know you want to be Puerto Rican and everything, but welcome to being a black fighter. This is what happens, right? No matter what, your, what you're claiming and all of that, your skin is black, you're skilled, this is what happens. You see what happened to Guillermo Rigondeaux, right? You see what happened to him his whole career. You see what happened to, uh, 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 what's happening still to Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's going to happen to you, Shakur. And they're going to say the same thing they say about all black fighters. He's boring. Oh, he's boring. That means they can't beat you. You won't stand in front of them and let them pound on you. That's that's what they mean, Shakur. So, but welcome to the party, brother. So, what you need to do is get back in there with De Los Santos, whoop on them. Show everybody uh, that you ain't for play play. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, you could be excited and all that kind of stuff. Do what you, I mean, Devin Haney felt that pressure too. But everybody kept saying Devin Haney was boring. He's boring. So what Devin do? He, he, he felt the pressure. He got up in there trying to slug with a puncher in Linares. Right? He, he beat Linares easily. But he had that one little hiccup. That one little scary moment in the fight that everybody keep talking about. When Linares landed a good right hand and wobbled. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happens when you start listening to these fans. But since then, Devin Haney has been the ultimate professional. He's been disciplined. And he don't he don't uh, he don't let people uh get in his head no more. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't listen to the crowd, none of that. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, we'll see what Shakur Stevenson does. But in my opinion, Shakur needs to go ahead and um fight De Los Santos again. I think that's the best fight for him. And uh, people are gonna be interested. Your fans are gonna be there to see if you can uh, make right by that. And you say you were injured in the first fight. And uh, you didn't tell nobody, fine. Go back and fight Dillas Santos again and uh, dog him. 
If you don't dog them, if you end up fighting the same way, what's going to be the excuse, brother? Seven Sports TV. Salute to the mighty old DBC and my party hit up. Deuces.